and M11 codes. M11 turns the, the, um, the laser on and M10 turns it off, so it's actually reverse logic. Um, the advantage of this one is, uh, I don't know how well you can see right now, but there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of stop and start marks. And one of the reasons for that is that M10 and M11 have no delay. Um, they, are, they are initiated um, immediately without any delay at all, and then they're linked to a movement. So, for example, if you just set uh, M11, which would turn the laser on, you'll actually get nothing happening uh, until you issue a move command. So it's actually, uh, that, that's why you don't get the, the all the stop and start, um, uh, stop and start delays. So there, there's not a lot of dots like there was on a previous one that I had done. Uh, which you can see, I sanded it off because it didn't work out so well, but on this one you'll see a lot more stop and start dots, um, which is uh, not present on the one I'm currently doing. Um, it's text from the Lord of the Rings, um, if any of you recognize that. But if I zoom in, you'll see it. there's not a lot of zero, uh, there, there's a few little burn holes where it had to stop and turn direction or things like that. But for the most part, it's actually, uh, uh, very smooth so um, so I set this up differently from the last time I had uh, left some video because uh, the M10 and M11 codes are a little bit uh, more difficult to set up but not a lot uh, they required some finicky things and I initially I thought they actually weren't working but what I neglected to, to, to remember was that they have to have movement commands associated with them. So when I had set it up, I had actually set it up correctly, but I hadn't issued any move commands, so I thought I could turn the laser on and off. The one downside to setting it up like this is that um, if you do that, then what ends up happening is you can, no, uh, you can uh, have a harder time uh, finding your zero point. So um, you have to actually, uh, endurance lasers have got a three three way toggle switch there. Uh, the first uh, one, one, one is obviously off, power off. The other toggle is uh, TTL control, which is to the computer. And the other is always on, uh, so that I can flip it on and the laser will come on as long as I have power to the laser. So um, that's the one downside, but it's that's easily fixed. You just briefly flip it over to the always on to see where your zero is, so you've got exact zero um, set. So um, in to, to uh, configure this, I can't show you this right now. I'll do another setup uh, afterwards. Uh, once this is all done carving, I can't really get into the uh, setup and, and, and configuration screens while it's carving. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you later.